hear it. Everybody's you. sitting me behind me because I'm so focused. What is wrong? Oh You're the God. air that I breathe. Let's see. Thighs are burning. So I care for wearing short shorts. Oh my day! You're all that I I am shaking, but I'm gonna be brave. I didn't come all the way. It's so beautiful. The sand is a bit hot, so be careful. Ah, let me change that. The sand is very hot, so be careful. Are you watching where you're going, Mr. Reading the Map? You go, I follow yeah. you there. Whatever so guys, you do, I swear we're going around in circles at this rate. We're trying to get to and I will be what? Not the pool. One of the... <laughs> uh, it looks like a lookout for where we were now to see the waterfall. We want to see the other side of the waterfall. You gotta walk on the rocks, so we're not entirely sure which rocks those are. So we're gonna try again, take two. <laughs> we found the path. Quite the adventure. We can just go back to the car. You keep it safe. Forever. Ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby. You know we're the same. What's up, besties? Good morning. It's a super dark early morning, 4 a.m. on the dot, and we are officially leaving. Officially starting a road trip. I had said to Dizzy last night that we're gonna leave here at three, and I told the kids what they didn't know though is that the plan is to leave at four. Huh? But the thing is, if you tell them you're leaving at four, then everybody wants to wake up at four. <laughs> everybody's ready things are looking up things are packed the kids just went downstairs with dizzy we just prayed it's good we're good we're on time and we're about to leave and i really hope and pray that i'm not forgetting anything i've really tried my hardest this time we have a few things in here. They will probably be spoiled by the time we come back, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. There really isn't much I can do right now. So it is what it is. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. Let's go. It's 543. We're filling up for the kids are knocked out. Except for one. <gasps> she refuses to sleep. I'm just hanging out with Sky. To be honest, I am so sleepy. I'm running on about two hours of sleep. Oh no! <laughs> because I couldn't sleep. Like my mind just wouldn't shut off. We went to bed at midnight and my mind just would not settle down. And I kept like thinking, are we forgetting anything? Did we pack everything? And I got up to put the passport in my bag because I was like, I don't want to forget that. So I'm going to take a nap. I just told the driver that this princess passenger is gonna take a nap because Lord knows I need that. I wanna be awake for sunrise. Mm. Please wake me up if I miss sunrise. Or if it looks like I'm gonna miss sunrise. What are you searching frantically for? Life's a coat of many colors. It is never black and white Can't have one without the other The dark without the light What would a road trip be without a hot cross bun? And then nice and warm too. Mm. 
We are sharing a tub of mango on our first stop. Yeah. Mm. Really, Alice is stop. talking? Hmm? Hmm? Alice is talking? Yeah, you are sleep talking. And I hear that in my ear. Oh, Yo, I am sweating like a sinner in church right now. Queen de la Reville. And I've been telling Dizzy that I feel like I am literally living my childhood. I grew up listening to the radio. They're talking about de la Reville, Colini. To this day, they still talk about places like that because, you know, it's part of the news and stuff. Mutsuri FM. And I just never could visualize what it looks like. Even though it's northwest, I, I couldn't visualize it. And today, we're literally going past all those places. So I'm just like, oh my god. It's nice to put a place to a name so kind of thing. And there's a ton of sunflowers. You like this? Me too! You like the sunflower better because it reminds you of Auntie Bridget? Me too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too. Me too, me three. If there were sunflower seeds at the shop, I would definitely buy them. You would buy sunflower seeds yes. and then plant it? Yes. If I could bring Auntie Bridget Mama. back, I would. Mama. What if we could bring her back? Oh, it's not like we could plant a sunflower yeah. and the sunflower grows yeah. and then she lives in the sunflower. Mm -hmm. We could do that. That's a solid plan. Anyway, we stopped at KFC now. Dizzy Basil's gone to pee because Red Bull wants an out. Initially, we were not gonna buy any food until we get there, but the road here is so uneven and so shaky that we're driving at like 80 kilometers an hour, 90 kilometers an hour. Okay, so I'm editing this vlog and I realized that the whole entire time I'm vlogging on this very specific day when we started the road trip to Namibia, I never did say, um, the plants or like the root or whatever see the thing is the whole point of us road tripping is we don't necessarily have a hard plan of where we're going or how we're getting there it's always such rough estimates and the whole reason why we do it like that is because it's a road trip so we don't pressure ourselves to get to a certain point or do whatever we don't pre-book accommodation which is insane with three kids anyway um on this specific day let me not digress on this specific day we were driving from home to Appington because Appington is a great layover, I guess, when you're going into Namibia because it's very far from Pretoria to drive all the way into Namibia and Namibia is not as, like they're not, it's not as convenient as South Africa is. Convenient in a sense that the cities are a little too further apart so you will be driving for a while before you get to the next town. Um, so Appington is always like a great layover and then you start again in the morning to drive into Namibia we did exactly the same thing the previous two times we were road tripping so I didn't mention it I don't know why my head was all over the show clearly I was so excited for this road trip because we haven't done it in so long but that was the plan that's where we're going that's what's up and yes there wouldn't be an edited vlog if there was no Red Bull. It'll take forever until before we get to where we're going. So we just stopped at KFC real quick to get the kids something to eat. Kamahelo is doing something. What? Look at my comic. Oh, she's writing a comic. <laughs> I like the towel. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. They're just gonna eat in the car. Looks so beautiful. Hello, you you Hi Decepticon, I am an Autobot fan. Because the men. I am for the Autobots. Because I touch the the la reveal. No. Come out. No. <laughs> it is massive. There's no way. Are we even out of the way? Ooh, I know. I felt like we're literally on the way still. Scary. Yeah. Better than next year, McFlurry. Yeah. This is very much low-key addictive. We've been eating this almost every single week. Wow. Yeah. It's a cool dude over there eating two ice cream cones. Mm. Hi, Winola. Hi. Don't want to sleep tonight at all. Just wanna watch them stars fall. Would you who don't O M Jizzle Basil? We just checked into the Oasis in Appleton and I am 
blown away. Okay, first of all, I was moaning and complaining because when I booked this day, they give us two different rooms, understandably so. We have a million and one children and hotels only cater for two kids. So we got two rooms. One will be the one adult. That's how they work it down. And then I booked the suites that can accommodate one adult and three children. Obviously, we're not going to do it like that. But what I'm trying to get at here is I am in the suite right now. And I could live here. I see this can be my apartment, okay? This can be my whole entire apartment. Let me show you and then we'll talk about prices. Oh my days. When you walk in, this is essentially what you see. Gorgeous. Look at those windows. Look at those curtains. I am dying. But let me show you the, the full tour first. Okay, you turn to your right. Here is a guest bathroom. It's got a mirror, basin, all the fun stuff, toilet, pretty basic. It's a bathroom, you expect that. You turn this way. This is the main bedroom. Very nice, very comfy. I absolutely love this waffle situation going on here. You have a working desk which is nice, beautiful. We have a TV, a closet here, and then you turn this way in suite bathroom, okay? The toilet here, mirror, you turn this way. This right here is a shower. Yes, bathtub, and you can walk out, balcony. Yes, please. You can get back in the house this way. Look, kitchenette. Lovely cupboards, espressos, instant coffee, some tea, some sugars, all the fun stuff. Mini bar down here, smallish dining area, gorgeous. Occasional chair right here. Those pictures, I am dying. Gorgeous. This is essentially the living room TV area, but because it's got a sleeper couch, it turns into a bed for the kids to sleep. TV, this is my favorite thing ever. Ever, ever. I literally cannot. It is beautiful oh i can't this is so beautiful i can't and you know what else there's a freaking hand written note are you serious i can't I, I cannot. How even? How is this even possible? You know how stereotypical when you're traveling, you always want to book a hotel that has a reputation, like your Pratia Hotel, Southern Sun. Those names, the well-known names, right? This time around, I was like, the Oasis? Let's try that. I read a few reviews. Of course, I booked on booking.com. And then I read a few reviews. Everybody was like, it's lovely. And I was like, let's try that. No regrets. So this room, for one night, you're going to think it's crazy expensive, but it's not. For what you get, it's insane. 2.4 including breakfast and then the room downstairs which is just a basic room with a double bed i'm gonna go see it now i haven't seen it because i'm just so blown away i'm starstruck in here we paid 1.5 so our bill was barely 3.5 i don't know if my math is working out but it was 3.9 and then we got a discount so i paid only 3.5 for two rooms one of which is an entire apartment basically you have to come to appington and you have to sleep at the oasis hotel okay i will bribe you if i have to but you have to try it this is incredible if you're gonna be road trip obviously this is our layover to Namibia we're gonna check out tomorrow this is just for one night we want to relax day one of the trip all the fun stuff so hotels they always make sense we're gonna be driving to Namibia tomorrow from here into where we're going it's five hours from here into Namibia it's about an hour maybe two hours tops so it's just it's a perfect stop when you road trip into Namibia so please when you do find yourself in Eppington for whatever reason book at the Oasis okay forget the Pertia Hotel Book at the Oasis. You won't regret it. Bonk. I'm so starstruck by this room. It's not even funny. But let's go downstairs and see what that one looks like. Hi guys. It's so small in here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, well. well, I see somebody's shoes already in here. Nag nag nikini. Okay. Aw. So cramped in here. Are you coming upstairs? I want to come upstairs. Huh? Oh, everybody wants to come upstairs. Everybody wants to come upstairs. All right, come on. You guys also got a handwritten note? Yes. Did you see the handwritten note? This is literally like the best thing ever. Uh, our house? Yeah. Okay, I like that. Own it. Yeah, it's our house. It's our house. Mm -hmm. Don't have to do two same things. Yeah. It's our house. It's our house. Really, can you show Nola where the bath is? Actually, can I show you where the bath is? Yeah. 
Come, let me go show you where the bath is. Because right now, you're confusing me. Oh, I should switch off this air conditioner in here. Where's the bath? Oh, okay. Where is it? Dun, 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 dun. Even you can shower in the bath. Even you can shower in the bath. Great. Right. And this is a shower. Oh. Yeah, you shower here. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 We're gonna room service, but I'm gonna give the kids a bath. First things first, the bra must come out. Oh. Ooh, I've been wearing this damn thing for like eight hours straight, which reminds me, you guys, today has been a Mama, crazy Mama, day. Mama, show you something. Oh, okay. There's something there. <gasps> Whoa. What is that? It's the one in the end. Like yeah, it is a safe. It's called a safe. Here's the thing. When we did the GPS this morning, it said it's going to take us eight hours Mama, and then some minutes. Another. Yeah, I switched it off. Eight hours and then some minutes to get here. When I tell you that, it took us probably like plus 10 hours. Yeah, pretty much almost 12 hours. No, almost 12 hours. Yes, we left at four and we got here just yeah, before four. <laughs> The N14, it's cute, it's straight, it's all the way from Pretoria, all the fun stuff, but man, it is uneven. We're driving at like 90, 80, 90, 80, and then a little bit like 120, and then like 80 and 90 again. It was insane. It took forever. We did two stops, maybe three stops, three purpose stops, an additional three just by the roadside, but it took us this long to get here. Crazy. Anyway, let me give the kids a bath and stop talking too much. This butt tub is so huge. How am I gonna reach? Uh, all right. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna sit up. The kids are gonna love this. Of course, I didn't bring a foam bath. I brought a shower gel instead. So this little guy's gonna have to be a foam bath today. Oh. Even when you fall down outside, yeah. don't get hurt. Who fell down? Me. Of course you fell down. As my head would have it. I have a headache. Oh, no. I'm not even gonna wait until my day is ruined. I'm just gonna take a painkiller, let it do its thing. And I gotta say, I haven't had a headache in a while, in a long time. I don't know if this water is salty or the pills are salty, but this water is nasty because the kids were drinking it and I see things swimming in it. So. I haven't had a headache in a while, so this for me is very new. <laughs> Girl, dig yummy pizza dinner and strawberry shakes. Enjoy. No, you can grab a slice. I'm having no, chicken curry. They have, they have mushrooms. So, you don't eat mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Since when? Since when you don't eat mushrooms, girl? Because I don't like. Huh? You don't like mushrooms? No. I had no idea. You can pick them out. Oh my god, yes. Because this is not going to get me full at all. I was stressing about this rice. No, you're mm. welcome to come here. Almost there. Something is happening. Yeah. Is it going to explode? Mm -hmm. Should we start running? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I mean, it's drinkable. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I Definitely needs a straw. Oops. Is it a paper straw? No. Mm -hmm. It's a proper straw. Oh. The one for the original cook. It's probably gonna foam because it's so warm. Thank you. Ooh, look at daddy's food. Yum. I am so tired. My tired is tired. It's only half past seven right now. The kids are sleeping in the bedroom because they don't want to share the sleeper couch even though it's so big and I'm telling them tomorrow you're going to be sleeping on a camping bed that's smaller than the sleeper couch. So I don't know how that's going to work. So they got the bedroom. I'm going to sleep here with Dizzy Basil because he also doesn't want to go downstairs. I think compliance is forcing hotels to have two kids and two adults, but three kids and two adults can fit in here easily so even four kids to be honest but it is what it is we had to book two rooms he's going to move the car into the basement because we have stuff on top of the car we don't want to risk that and they're not locked so he's just moving that in the basement and then he's coming back and we're gonna 
get some sleep. I said, damn, we need to sleep because last night we didn't sleep really well because we were packing, so we went to bed after midnight. Tonight we have to get some solid sleep so tomorrow's drive is not as brutal as today's drive was. With that being said, I am gonna literally wait for Dizzy Bagel here. He's not back yet, just hopped in bed. I'm not even gonna try to put on the TV, just gonna sit here, wait for him, and we get some sleep. So I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow or on the next vlog. Night night. I just can't with the shower. I actually can't. It is so cool. What's up, besties? Good morning. It's the morning after the beautiful night in this beautiful apartment slash suite. And right now, I'm living my dream. <gasps> I've always wanted to wake up in a pretty hotel room wearing a waffle gown and a towel on my head after taking a shower with a gorgeous view. And you know what? I just checked all those boxes. Hold on, my lens is so dirty. This thing is struggling to focus. Anyway, I just took a nice shower with a gorgeous, gorgeous view outside. I'm dressed in a waffle gown, making the most of it, even though I need to be dressing up and going downstairs to have breakfast. Dizzy Basil and the kids are already downstairs. It's just before eight. We need to leave here at eight. <laughs> if we're gonna be able to fit anything in our, in our itinerary today, we need to leave here at eight. We made a last minute change into what needs to happen today, like where we need to go, where we wanna go, not where we need to go, where we wanna go today. So we need to leave a little bit ahead of time. Initially, we're gonna leave around 9, 10, so we're leaving two hours earlier. I'll chat to you guys about that in the car. Let me get dressed so that we can go. Although I don't want to really get out of this. It's, so it's giving influencer vibes, you know? Mm. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but I got to go. I really need to go. This is more like it. I'm road trip ready. I 100% love these mirrors. They are so cute. So, so gorgeous. Let's go see what breakfast is there. Check this out. This is in a executive lounge. Outside the bedrooms, gorgeous pictures. So, so pretty. I actually don't even know what floor the restaurant is. But look at this. We walked into this, like, ooh, Kalisi's eggs are sitting over here. I'm gonna press zero because it's got green thing on it. It's all the way down there. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. It's so gorgeous and quiet. What's everybody? Um. The room servicing. <gasps> Hello, family. Yoo Big summer blowout. Yes. This muffin tastes like vanilla. What's going on? What cause is this? I'll show you. Okay. Where are they? Come, really. Where? Oh, oh, no. You can't play with these ones, boo. What? No way. These are not for playing. What are these for? They're decorating. You oh. can't see this glass. You can't get to them. And you shouldn't try. I actually left my other glasses in the car. The ones that don't reflect. The new ones. They're in the car. So I'm going to have to wear these for now. Let's get going. But also, I just noticed the new ones are giving me this line here also. I guess it's just a matter of getting used to them. I don't know. This is what it's like here. Hello. Hi, guys. My water bottle. <laughs> yeah, everybody's having a good laugh because I almost fell over. Yeah. <laughs> have kids, they fell. Goodbye, gorgeous, gorgeous room. Um, yes, we are going all the way down. So let's go all the way down. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And we wait, and we wait. Zero. Look out that way. I see the cars down there. Yeah, there's a car. You're gonna move the car. Oh, oh, we're, falling. we're falling. Really? Did you move the cars? Yes. How did you do that? It's literally 8:45, and this the streets are quiet. Where is everyone? What time does the city wake up? Where? Okay, go on to daddy then. We are starting the journey today with an hour and a half. We are 15 minutes into the drive to get to the first destination. Yes? You want what? 
Doritos with Powerade. Okay. Oh. Love you, Banale Monster. I'm sure he's going to want a monster. Wait. Jesus. If you break and it spills, you still have to pay for it. Okay. Oh, there's a, also a play. There's also a play. And also a Coke. Cool. If I got the Coke. Then you will be charging it. So what? Okay. In here? I, yeah, I need, I'm going to drink all of it, all at once. One is not going to be enough. Hello. Hello. This place is incredible. I can't believe we've never been here before. How have we never been here before? I don't understand. This is called Agrabees Falls. It's beautiful. Piping hot because it's in Northern Cape, but beautiful. Are you guys snacking? Mm -hmm. I just sent Dizzy Basil back to get me cold water. I need cold water. We have water, but it's not cold enough. I need it to be like massively cold. These pictures you took are gorgeous, babe. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Can you put it in? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The whole car is going to smell like what? Doritos. That smells like fart. Well, are you going to put what? Where? Inside the fridge. Thank you. What? It smells like fart. Is that going to fit? Have you guys been drinking water? Mm -hmm. You want to drink this? It's nice and cool and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Nothing will quench your thirst like water. Please don't spit in it. <gasps> but drink it's it. Coming the other no, no. Mama, hmm? It's coming on my window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you some for Yeah. Refreshing, Ready? right? Yes. Whose water am I holding here? Yeah, this one is warm. We're going to have to put it back in the cooler. What was that? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, explore. Tell everybody yeah, yeah. about your town. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Mic drop. Cool. <laughs> yeah. 42 degrees right now. 42 I'm degrees. I'm eating dry routine. The kids are eating their leftover pizza. We just crossed the border and we're on gravel road. And it's the been on gravel road. Uh-huh. And go up. And the air is so hot. It is hot now. Bonk. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my days. All the dust, I'm gonna have to vacuum the daylight out of this car. Yeah, the level of tired I am right now. We just drove on the gravel road for over two hours. But then we did another hour while you guys were sleeping. I was so nervous, I'm not gonna lie. And I was saying to Dizzy, Yeah, I was telling Dizzy, this is Namibia like we've never seen Namibia before. <laughs> it's nice, it's just terrifying. I'm glad that you saw what? I'm glad we got those BFG tires because Lord knows those Goodyears I had on here, they're not gonna make it. They're just not gonna make it. But now the car is so dusty inside. Bonk. Daddy, Daddy, can you get us some ice, ice cream? cream? Ice cream, please. Ice cream. Ice cream. MT in South Africa just sent me a message. Why am I putting it? MT in South Africa. MT just sent me a message saying, Hello, MT in South Africa welcomes you to Namibia. First of all, this is very impressive. Second, how do they know I'm in Namibia? Can you please get us some ice cream? Yes. Sheba. I'm doing here. Wanna speak? I don't know if they get load shedding in Namibia. They're selling Namibia and Biltong? Yum. Honestly, I don't even think I want to keep up the vlog until we get to where we are going. I am so tired and sweaty and sticky. We're almost at our destination. We sure are, Abu. We sure are. Baton? What? I found a new smile this morning That doesn't come out as a frown A smile to wear while performing and to hide the tears of the
this cloud.